Now, your eyewitness weather forecast. Happy Tuesday night to you. I'm meteorologist Brian James. We got a cold front on the way for tomorrow evening and tomorrow night, so we'll squeeze out one more mild day tomorrow. And it's going to be warm. Temperatures back in the 70s tomorrow, but it's gone on Thursday. We'll also have a round of rain move on through for Wednesday evening, but that quickly clears out. We'll have the cloud cover clear out during the day on Thursday. Cooler through the weekend, we get a reinforcing shot of cool air over the weekend, and we'll try to warm it back up as we head into the middle part of next week. At the bus stop forecast, tomorrow morning we'll start off with some sunshine and mild temperatures. Upper 50s in the afternoon will climb into the 70s. Clouds will thicken back up and we'll have the chance of showers as after the sun sets, more likely around, say, uh, 7, 8 o'clock, and then going into about 10 o'clock in the evening for most of those showers. I'll show that to you coming up. So tomorrow, increasing clouds, mid-70s. Looks great. Oh, Thursday. Upper 40s, around 50. It's going to be a bit breezy, especially in the morning as well. Cloudy, and then we'll clear the clouds out as we head through Thursday afternoon. Look at these temperatures in the region. These are closer to what we normally have for high temperatures. A mix of 60s, Burlington at 64. Same thing in Albany. Pittsburgh still 67, 68 degrees in Cleveland as well. But fairly clear skies right now. We will see some sunshine to start the day tomorrow. A couple of the showers starting to form across parts of Michigan main front a little farther back toward the west and that front will arrive as we go into tomorrow afternoon tomorrow evening and that's why you see low rain chances for the day Wednesday it's going to be Wednesday evening Wednesday night that we see our shower chances and then things dry out for Thursday Friday have a chance for a few more showers mainly during the first half of the day on Saturday then it's going to be a bit chillier on Sunday you can see that high around 50 on Sunday so mid 70s tomorrow it's going to look great feel great and then the bottom falls out. Upper 50s return Friday, mid 50s Saturday. That next front comes in by Saturday afternoon, so cooler Sunday. We do work our way back up to the low 70s by the middle part of next week. So yes, we're going to cool down, but we're not going to stay on the colder side. We'll try to warm it back up next week. Here's what we have going on for the rest of tonight. You can see some of the cloud cover back toward the west. Mostly sunny to start the day at 56 to begin the day. In the afternoon, 76, here come the clouds. Here comes an initial batch of showers. You can see some of those showers around by 7 o'clock, but the main front, a little farther back toward the west, Watertown to west of Syracuse and still east of Rochester. So some of these showers, that's what will move in around 10 o'clock or so. No thunderstorms, no severe weather really expected with this. But once that front goes by, northwest winds will kick in. It's going to feel quite a bit cooler. A couple leftover wraparound showers, clouds to start the day Thursday in the mid 40s, and then we'll try to clear it back up. But boy, is it going to be cooler with highs only in the low 50s. For tonight, low temperatures will be higher than what we have for normal highs this time of year. Upper 40s to mid 50s under a mostly clear sky. Tomorrow, breezy but still warm. Highs low to mid 70s. Clouds will be thickening up. Showers move in for tomorrow evening. Then the clouds move out by Thursday afternoon. But boy, is it going to be cold. Low 50s. Another chance for showers on Saturday. Colder on Sunday. We will try to warm it back up again as we head through the early part of next week. Back to you. Thank you, Brian. Coming up next on Eyewitness News at 11, SUNY is creating a new internship program aimed at bolstering local journalism here in New York State. Jamie DeLine has the details from SUNY's Chancellor when we come back.